how to make auto scroll carousel in Squarespace. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you how simple it is with just an implementation of a little code that you're going to put into your code injector on Squarespace. You're going to make your um, carousel uh, auto scroll. So it is going to be very easy. We're going to head over squarespace.com, head over our account dashboard. And once you're here, we are going to select the website that we are going to use it for. So basically it is going to be a very simple step. We're going to click on here and I'm going to put the code that we're going to use into the uh, section uh, of the description. You're going to find it there and you need only to copy and paste it into the code injector of yours in the version of Squarespace 7.1. It is going to work well. Also, if you have 0, 7.0, it is also going to work. Now, how we can add the section of the carousel? Basically, as you know, the uh, updates that has been implemented into Squarespace have changed a little bit of the specification and also each one of the details of each one of the sections. So they have been changing everything lately. So uh, we are going to head over our uh, website, click on the page and select the page where we want to add this specific section. Like, as you can see, this is the section on the uh, full mode or the testing mode. As you can see, I have injected the code, put on the uh, section, etc. Let's say that this section uh, is going to be right there. We are going to have the same section added. So we are going basically here to add a new section click on add section and from these sections we're going to select the ones that has the uh, let's say a property of moving on the images with of course having at least some uh, as you can see here arrows to the left and to the right so where can we find those basically you're going to search for the most suitable for you or suitable ones and you can go ahead and find them in my case, I have a um, head over surface, I think. I'm going to scroll down. This is, uh, I think these are not going to be the ones, but we are going to see here portfolios. This is uh, came from the portfolio. The one that I am using in here is going to be on portfolios. You can head over the testimonials, make sure that we have some, at least some uh, uh, here, as you can see here, this one of the, um, specific section which is going to be arrows this is going to be very suitable and click on edit section and see that we have this kind of menu so if you're not going to see this kind of menu that means that this is not a carousel so you can go ahead and modify the section uh, and also the characters of it by just adding or implementing the images and only uh, as you can see set up the elements so if you're going to head over the, the content and head over the design, you're going to find carousel, slideshow banner, and also simple list. We're going to choose carousel only. This is going to be the work in here. As for this, it is going to be the same. Click on design. We're going to find carousel, set it as it is. Now, if you are going to begin modifying your um, section, go ahead and modify the section as much as you want for the background and etc. Also, you can go ahead and add buttons, for example, like that, or you can go ahead and set up uh, the content of it. So this is the content uh, and for design, let's see here for the design, uh, I can go ahead and have some more images or the crop of the images is going to be a little bit larger and we can go ahead and have, uh, as you can see here, a circle or something like that and you're going to have the original basically i do not like uh, this as you can see images we have a lot of spacing between them so i don't know if we can go ahead and arrange the spacing yes we can so i'm going to make the media as large as possible so this is going to be it this space between the element is going to be either large or small so i'm going to let it as it is uh the slides i'm going to put the elements or the uh, gap this is the vertical uh, gap in the space between slides i'm going to make it just like this so i'm going to make sure that we has at least we have at least uh, as you can see uh, the slides going okay now uh, if you had uh, or if you have 
found yourself uh, where they're setting up everything and everything is okay with the content of the images you can add as much images as you want you can go ahead and click on add image upload a free image from here and there for example it is going to take place in here we're going to wait for that so this is the image now i have added my image and everything is okay now what i am going to do basically is to head over to the save button so we're going to make sure that we're going to have this at least click on exit and then we're going to find this as you can see working so the code is going to work for either of the pages i'm going to show you here how we are going to make it work so basically without the code we're going to click on save you're going to see that the images are going to be fixed or the slideshow will not work automatically but manually for that and for this make sure that you're going to understand this because the code that we're going to implement is going to be working on only one of the two choices that you have in here. Not for all the uh, carousels, but only one of them. How to implement the code? We're going to choose the page that we have implemented the slideshow or the carousel on it. Click on the settings or the gear icon. And we're going to head over the advanced uh, menu of it. So as you can read here page header code injection you can head over the code injector in here or you can head over the website tools and set up your code injector now let me show you the code this is the code as you can see it is going to be a little bit of a complicated code with the brackets with the parentheses the points and everything but i assure you that you only need to copy and paste that code and it is going to regulate itself now, the only thing that you can uh, know or I'm going to let you see is going to be the timing. And also for the function uh, that the play in back end, you can go ahead and make it false if you're going to turn it off or turn the feature of the auto slide off. But if you're going to make it uh, true, it is going to turn on. For the timing, it is going to be, for example, here timing after three seconds. It is going to turn on the images and the direction we have the direction as you can see here we have the guides one is going to be forward and zero is going to be backward we are going to start with a uh, let's say here three seconds i'm going to click on save we are going to see the difference and now we are going to wait this is why i have told you that it is going to work only in one section so as you can see every one two three seconds it is going to work count one two three one two three so if you're going to be sure that you're going to uh, change it click on advanced again for example we are going to make it fast so we are going to put it as one second you're going to click on save you're going to see the result one 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 so after that, if you're going to modify something else like direction, as you can see, the backwards is going to be zero. So we are going to make this as a zero. We're going to see here it is going to slide like this from the right to the left. We're going to make it a slide from the left to the right, like this, back and as it is. So that was pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.